very risky. But here it goes. This is the power of the Massacre Girl. And uh, we do get to mill ourselves a little bit, which is all right. Get some land out of the way. And we're wiping the rest of the field. And that is game, just like it always is. Taking our Maw of Flames. And we are all attacking up home. Two attacks, four damage comes here, two damage comes here, and two damage can come down there. All stories must end. Striking for 11, four points of life left. Uh, I only have two. Maybe he's got a green shock. Huh? You know what I mean? Hey everybody, That's welcome back. I'm TOS and you're watching Hello Good Game. Today we are playing Grixis Reanimator. And I spammed out wild cards this morning if you've seen that video. Uh, and we built a couple decks with it, right? So the Gixxus Reanimator is really relying on uh, Draxoth, Maw of Flames. This creature has flying into 7-7 and whenever it attacks it deals 4 damage to any target and 3 damage to up to 2 other targets uh, each. So this is going to wipe the field of 2 uh, of your opponent's creatures, most likely, and it's dealing uh, 11 damage directly to your opponent, or you can deal 7 damage to one creature, 3 to the other, and none to your opponent, or you could deal 4 damage to a creature, 3 damage to a creature, 3 damage to a creature. It's really dependent against what you're going up against. Uh, but this is the bread and butter of the deck. We're using things like Rotting Registor to have it discarded from our hand. We're sacrificing sometimes Rotting Register with Blood of Bones to bring it back from the graveyard. We have Ritual of Suit to deal with uh, those lovely scape shift gentlemen with the uh, Field of Dead. Uh, we have a con Convive slash Concoct uh, <clears throat> to bring those creatures back or maybe take control of a huge enemy uh, Krasis, something like this. Bond of Revival is also one of the uh, ideal cards here uh, because it's giving your creature haste until next turn. Which is really cool because you're casting this on your turn, obviously. Uh, the Maw of Flames comes out with haste, and you can immediately either attack for 11 or do those other things that we talked about, right? We have one Cavalier of Night. This is a 4-5 with lifelink, and when he enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice another creature. When you do, destroy target creature your opponent controls. So we may or may not do this, depending on what we have on the field or not, right? And when he dies, return target creature card with converted mana cost 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield, which will be our Rotting Registor. So we're basically cycling, ideally, our Rotting Registor with our Cavalier of Night because we're destroying it when it comes into the battlefield, and then when our Cavalier dies, the Rotting Registor comes back, right? <clears throat> we have one Massacre Girl for field cleanups. She deals uh, one damage to everything when she enters the battlefield, and then for every additional kill that she gets this way, it's gonna deal another minus one, minus one, and this is gonna stack and stack and stack until everything's dead. Ilgarg the Raised Boar, this is great because when it has Trample and when it attacks, you can actually play a card from your hand that's also attacking. So ideally, 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 we use Bond of Revival on our Ilgarg the Raised Boar when we have, um, uh, Drasgoth Maw of Flames in our hands. So now we're getting to attack with not only the Raised Boar, but with also the Maw of Flames. We have one Demon Lord Besnalok. Uh, flying Trample 6-6, six, six, cost 6 to cast. When he enters the battlefield, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card. Then put that card into your hand. If the card's converted, mana cost is 4 or greater. Repeat the process. Uh, he deals 1 damage to you for each card to put in your hand this way. So we could draw a couple of our big, big boys this way. We have a few more big boys, I suppose. Agent of Treachery, another great card for shutting out um, <clears throat> Field of the Dead. When he enters the battlefield, gain control of target permanent. Field of the Dead. At the beginning of your end step, if you control three or more permanents, you don't own, draw three cards. We only have one Agent of Treachery, so it's not likely that we'll trigger that. We have a Nizala, Primal Tide. This is a seven cost card as well. Uh, he can't be countered. You have no maximum hand size, and whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, you draw a card. Discard three cards. Return uh, it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Which is pretty cool, because we could discard three cards pretty easily. 
We have three Maw Flames, which we already talked about, and we have one Villas Broker of Blood. Flying, you can pay one Swamp, pay two life, target creature gets minus one, minus one till end of turn. Whenever you lose life, draw that many cards. So this is our draw engine. <clears throat> we have a lot of fun land in the setup. There is no sideboard. We're playing best of one here today. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get some Maw of Flames out on the field. We are continuing to play just uh, regular matches for the end of the season while I push rank. Not looking to... Uh, compromise that in any way that doesn't already happen naturally. So we do see um, some of our key components here. We don't have a creature for blood for bones. <clears throat> we do have some draw with chart of course obviously golden demise is nice to get rid of those latin war elves and incubation druids if that's what's happening um our opponent seems to have spent a gazillion dollars on his card sleeves maybe our opponent is a millionaire robot you know what i mean Keeping our hand. I'm surprised he doesn't have the full uh, art lands. I don't know, bro. We do have our golden demise for this Lanamore elf. How about these sleeves, though, you guys? Look at these. Wow. That is groovy. Oh, that's groovy. We have a beast of a card in the graveyard. And we are clicking towards Bag for Bones. We need a creature. We're going to wipe these off the field this turn. GG's, RIP's. I still can't get over these sleeves. We have a mood dropped on us. Pretty interested. He could submit zero, I believe. Or his dude on his own creature, which is a little weird. Three, four this turn. Let's chart our course. Oh my god. Let's get rid of our Maw of Flames. And it will he gets... <clears throat> he's 4-4 four, four Flyer, out, so we're definitely going to need to take our Maw of Flames. What is up with this draw? Paying life here, throwing our Bonner Revival out on our Maw of Flames, which is a groovy. We're attacking our opponent. Let's pull this out, see what it says. Four damage to any target. That'll be this lovely flyer. And then, heck, let's kill this Leafkin Druid. And let's kill this Sky Dancer. So we see immediately the power of the Maw of Flames. Just absolutely disgusting. Those card sleeves, though, you guys. Those are nice. You should play for keeps, and I should get his sleeves. <clears throat> 
Moth Flames is absolutely disgusting. Uh, really good luck there though with the early discards. We were drawing absolute power. So this looks pretty groovy again as well because we can chart a course the Maw Flames out of our hand again. Our opponent's mulliganed. Pet our kitty cat. We're looking forward to seeing what the next uh, Mastery Pass pet is. Uh, I cannot wait for some sort of dragon, to be honest. What kind of pets are you guys looking forward to seeing? We'll probably play our Dragon Skull Summit next turn. We can always pay life later on. Interesting. Especially when we draw a Sulfur Falls on top of that. Let's get some draw in. Oh my god, a bond of revival. Bond of revival. GG's, RIP's, EZ's. I mean, obviously he could counterspell us. I think he's probably playing a Grixis reanimator deck as well. Uh, the discovery is really good for that. Throws down a land. <clears throat> Stitcher Supplier out, which is great. Uh, we did mill a Bond of Revival, though, which is less than ideal. We'll say oops for that. So we're going to get going here. Um, Bond of Revival is 5 now, I'm just seeing that. I was almost about to pay life for that. No attacks, unfortunately. We want to save this if we do pull a Bag of Bones or Blood for Bones. I always seem to mix that up. And this isn't, like, not bad. Um, an Agent of Treachery goes into the graveyard. Which, if he's having land issues, that may be the play. Ah, eh, it's actually not. The play would just be to smash it with uh, the Maw of Flames. It always is. Because we can kill his flyer with his 4 ability. We can kill his Termander as well. We are paying life for this, however. And here's our Bond of Revival. Taking our Maw of Flames. Hopefully no Spell Pierce. That would be crippling. That's that. He could, I suppose, have an Unsummon as well. We are attacking. Here's 4 damage. Here's 3 damage. And there is the other. He dives down, which is great. Still gets smashed, though. It's going to be a hard climb for this gentleman. Especially without an unsummon. One, two, three, four, five land. Go to six next turn. And hopefully the turn after that, we can pr cast our Primal Tide. <clears throat> Unfortunately, he's limited to Lava Coils. Oh, and lightning strikes. Wow. He's doing all that for this. So again, the Maw of Flames when it comes in with haste is just shutting down the game. Let's see if we can't stack a few more. We've only been here for 14 minutes, so pretty quick rounds.
I guess a quick reminder is to subscribe to the channel for your chance to win up to 500,000 gems. That's right, half a million gems. Believe it or not, I'm giving them away. It's, it's uh, in order to help grow the channel, etc., etc. We do have a Stitcher's part and two Bonder Revival, so it could be good. We're just going to be really relying on those land drops. Anywho, subscribe to the channel to win gems. That's the gist of it, right? Um, and make sure if you were part of our last giveaway winners that you're reaching out to me uh, via the Discord link, which is down below. And uh, we'll get you those gems sent away. And maybe you guys could even share your screenshots of receiving those gems, what you're using those gems on. Uh, and just like PM those to uh, Millionaire Robot, I suppose. I may rag on this guy all day. How can I not? You know what I mean? Obviously looking for attention, so let's give him some. Uh, let's draw cards and hopefully we get a land. And we'll throw our second Maw Flames into the graveyard. No attacks. I'm not sure what his lifelink will do for him. He does have Exile, though, with white available, so... Less than ideal. Sacrificing our Stitcher Supplier here. That's all right. We have three playing to four. And our Rotting Regisaur comes out. We should just shut down his lifelink. It should also draw out uh, his exile if he has it in his hand, right? Next turn, it's basically over again, unless he has instant speed exile. Which I somehow doubt he does. Um, yeah, let's throw away our Tormenting Voice. And we still need another land. And let's discard a, another Rotting Regisaur. We have three Vonder Revivals. It'll be down to two. We'll have to discard one. And we have two Maw of Flames ready to strike next turn. Well, turn after turn, I suppose. This turn's really going to set the pace for him. Unfortunately, it's a dead drop, and now he's tapped his mana. He's not going to have any instant speed exiles for one. I can guarantee you that. We'll make sure we give him an oops here. And that's that. Here's our Maw of Flames. And you'll see we've basically replicated the same strategy three games in a row. Uh, very easy. Destroying all his creatures, <clears throat> striking for 14. is just too much. Maw of Flames is a broken ass card, especially with Bond of Revival which was from Warp Spark. That's probably that. He could exile us. He's going to seal away our Maw of Flames. Probably seal away both. I don't know why he would not take the Maw of Flames. Nice. Pretty cool. Unfortunately, he's still dead. Hello, good game. I guess we should do our signature smash and dash. It has to be two other targets, which is annoying. Oh, that dirty dog had another seal away. Woof. This might be a match, you guys. Let's chart a course here. And let's get rid of our Stitcher Supplier. And we'll play our lands. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need one more. Let's chart a course again. 
Here's our land. Tormenting voice can go. And it's your turn, my friend. What's this bad boy do? Pay two life, gains flying till end of turn. Pay two life, gains vigilance till end of turn. We draw a secondary land, which is great. If he has a fourth seal away, we are going to giggle. Uh, no haste, unfortunately, this turn, though. Because we're not using Bond of Revival to bring it back. Which not only makes it a cheaper cast if it's in your graveyard, but gives it haste. Part of the Broken Edge. That's that. Just knocking him out of the park. Uh, I guess let's do one more. Today's going to be obviously a little bit of a shorter video. We've only been here uh, for 20 minutes. So very quick. Uh, it's just too much power. Um, I do also have that box opening video posted today where I discuss a little bit about some recent comments that were made, which is fine. I love these guys. It's just uh, engagement on the channel, which is what I'm all about, right? So watch that if you're interested in hearing my opinion, seeing what kind of uh, card drops I get, what kind of card drops you guys could get with your free gems. He does get to start the game with a ley line, which is pretty cool. We're going to be uh, proactive here and just try to bomb rush them as quick as we can. Uh, we do have a Bond of Revival already, and we get two pretty nice discards there, which he's taken note of. He's trying to bum rush us back just as well. Which is okay. Let's do chart of course here. Getting rid of our Maw Flames. And no attacks. We have four land. We're looking for one more land. Filling up my vape here. I can do it on camera for you. Beep. Easy as that. Hours of fun in this bad boy. All right. So we have four. We're not necessarily looking really to play anything for four. We could grab his druid, which I think might not be a bad play. Uh, I was saying four, but it's actually three. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get our Rotting Regisaur into play. Pulling out his Frilled Mystic. Interesting. We don't often see this in an elemental deck, right? So no attacks here. Biogenic Ooze. This is not something I've seen in quite some time. No blocks. We have to save our Stitcher for a Massacre Girl. Uh, one, two, three, four. Unfortunately, it costs five. Yeah, we're going to need to go long term here. I think at this point, Ritual suits a dead card. Well, maybe not. We should save our Massacre Girl as well. One, two, three, four, five. We don't need six. Let's get rid of our land. No attacks, no blocks. This is going to be a risky turn. Holy. Six mana available. 
plays a collector. Let us have a storied battle worth retelling. What's he looking for? Library. Probably a hydroid crisis, I'd assume. Nice. He does get it. Unfortunately, he's only going to have three mana to play it. An Incubation Druid only strengthens our case here. No blocks because we need this initial first tick. And unfortunately, we do have to pay life as well. So this is getting very risky. But here it goes. This is the power of the Massacre Girl. And uh, we do get to mill ourselves a little bit, which is all right. Get some land out of the way. And we're wiping the rest of the field. That's that. We will take control of his Krasis as well. But he doesn't have any lands to really play an efficient Krasis. So we could even just go around it and maw flames damage it. I almost thought we were going to lose there. That was close. I was like, well, I guess a loss is a good way to end the video, right? I'm saying that the deck's not bulletproof. The past is <laughs> he plays a land. Nice. <laughs> it's game at this point, unless he has a Frilled Mystic. Obviously, he doesn't, or he wouldn't have done this for two. And that is game, just like it always is. Taking our Maw of Flames... And we are all attacking up home. Two attacks. Four damage comes here. Two damage comes here. And two damage can come down there. All stories must end. Striking for 11. Four points of life left. Uh, I only have two. Maybe he's got a green shock. Huh? You know what I mean? That's game. Again. We have uh, been absolutely tearing up the rank here. Uh, in a disgusting manner. I don't have my MTG Arena tool clicking, so I'm not sure how many in a row we've won. Uh, we could even buy a pack here. Start the day off extra right, seeing as we've already opened over 40 of them. It's our 46th pack of the day. Shout out to Millionaire Robot. Ooh, a Wake Root Elemental. Very nice. This will go well in our Elemental deck. Anywho, we're going to call it short today, a uh, quick video as we produce two, and I'm going to try to uh, get the rest of the weekends produced uh, today, and I can get outside and enjoy the great outdoors tomorrow. I've also been working on editing a lot of my lifestyle footage for another one of my businesses, so I'll maybe get you guys a link for that too. It's pretty cool. It's just like drone footage, GoPro footage uh, of the like hiking, skiing, camping, um, yeah, things like this, right? So that's it for the day. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, more importantly than that, have a great day.